The Mishnah continues on Daf Nun Omid Beis. Now the Mishnah is going to clarify this distinction that we made between Maimar and Gen on the one hand and Be'ila and Chalitza on the other hand and establish that that distinction, that fundamental separation to the two categories is meaningful, is, is valid, is, is kayemis. Well, even in a case where there were two Yevamos, Hasuros Atoli Nose, Achetisyabim Achesmen or Shetachlots Achesmen. So you have Ruven is married to two wives, he dies without children, and not, neither of his two wives at this point are permitted to marry anyone else. Achas, Yevama Achas, Liyavamechot. The Achas, Shteyevamos, Liyavam Echot. The mission establishes that it's irrelevant whether there's one Yavama and one Yavam or one Yavama and two Yavamim or two Yavamos and one Yavam. And now the Mishnah is going to explain and detail all the different possible scenarios in which you'd have, let's say, two Yavamos, right? Shte Yavamos. And again, we go through the order, the sequence of the four Kinyanim, Maimar, Get, Chalitza, Ubi'ila. That's the order that we've seen, the sequence that the Mishnah follows consistently from beginning to end. What is necessary to remove the Zika and to be matter hard to marry, or them, the two Yevamos, to marry someone in Ashuk? Now, if there are two Yevamos, then there are all sorts of scenarios of Fanim, Kayomim, and whatever we saw in Yevama Achas with Yavam. Echad, which was the first part of the mission on Daf Nunam and Aleph, we're going to see the same pattern in a mirror image in a case of two Yavamos. However, there's going to be one additional case or scenario when there were two identical Maisim that were done to the two Yavamos. So again, the Mishnah begins, this part of the Mishnah, with an explanation of the din of Maimer and Get, which are, again, meaningful mirabonon. And then the Mishnah is going to go on to Be'il and Chalitz, which are Dorais. Ketzad. How is it that the dinim that we establish with regard to one Yavam apply equally to the case of two Yavamas? Also, Maimer Bazu, who Maimer Bizu. He gave Maimar to one Yavama, and then he did a Maimar to the Tzara, to the other Yavama. According to Rachamim, H. Maimar, Acham Maimar. So the Maimar is a valid Kenyan for both of them. And therefore, he cannot be Miyabim any of these two because he has a Kenyan in the Tzara. And I think he points out that the Gemara back on Daf Memdalet had derived from a drusha that also livnos yosem ibais echad. Right. So once the Rabbanan recognized the Maimer in one Yavama, that excludes Yibum in the other Yavama because also livnos yosem ibais echad. He can't be bonus shnei bat. And the Rabbanan recognized both Maimer. As, as Kinyonim, according to the Sheet of the Rabbana. Now, Tzricho Shnei Gitin, both Yevamos now will require a get in order to be to them. And the get will be meaningful to remove the Maimar. So each one had a Maimar, each one now needs a get to remove the Maimar. But that's all on a Rabbana level. On a Doraisa level, the git, the gitin, these two gitin are not enough to be matu, these two yamamos. 
but one chalitza is enough because we only need one chalitza of zika from for the entire bias for all the meaning uh, whoever is chosen to be a chalitza, that chalitza is matir and is effective for all the yivamos. So each one needs a get, but one chalitza will suffice. Maimer bezu, the get bezu. One of the two yivamos received a maimer. Then he gives a get to the other yivam, the tzara of the first yivama who receives the maimer, the balasa maimer. In such a case, he cannot be miyabim the first Yavam that he gave Maimar to because of the get that was given to the Shnir. And again, the concept is that there was a Takonis Chachamim that you cannot be miyabim after get was delivered because the get Mirabonon is considered like a Chalitza. And Kevin Shalabonis Shuvlo Yivna, he violates a lot. So now, the first Yavama received Maimer, if you remember the case. She needs to get, so you could get, in order to allow her to get married because we recognize the Maimer Mirabana. The second Yavama got to get. What does she need? That get, as we said, generates an Easter on the first, vis-a-vis the first Yavama for Yibum. But both of these two uh, tsaros, Yivamos, need chalitza. So one chalitza suffices for both of them. Next case. Maimer bezu uboil ezu. I mean, it's a little bit more complicated because the maimer is only derabana, but the biila is the rice. Now, the maimer to the first Yivama generates an isur for Yivum vis-a-vis the second Yivama. So the biila to the second Yavama on a Durabana level is illegitimate. And therefore, we are going to require that he give a get to the Shnir. Again, the fact that he has to give a get to the Rishona, that's Pasha, because he started with a Maimar, and that's a Kedushin Durabana. To get herself out of that Kedushin Durabana, Durabana, she needs to get. But not only that, the second one, needs a get as well. Again, she has no possibility of Yibum because of the Kenyan Maimar of the first Yivama and there's no Yibum after a get. Just one second. I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself here. Let's go slowly. Right? He can only be that, that we said earlier. And therefore, in the case of Maimer Bezu, that's the case we're up to. Fair Baal Azu. Again, he cannot re, he cannot re, remain married to the second Yavama that he was Boel because he's connected to the first Yavama. Why? Because he gave a mimer, and Mirabona, that's a Kenyan that's valid. So therefore, he's being bonish nebatim if he would be miyabim the second Yavama. But why tzricho shnei gitin? Again, I understand very well why the first Yavama needs a get to break up the Kenyan mimer. And why does the second Yavama need a get? Oh, I got it. Because Midoraisa, that is a full-fledged ishus. The fact that the first Yavama received a mimer is irrelevant because the Torah doesn't recognize the validity of a mimer in the case of, of Zika Sibu. On the other hand, the Be'ila to the second Yavama makes her into a full-fledged ishus ish on a derice level, so she can't get out of it without a get. On the other hand, on a derabona level, there's going to be a requirement of chalitza. Certainly, vis-a-vis the first of the two Yavamos, she needs Chalitza. Why does the second Yavama need Chalitza? He says, Get Levad Lo Moil La Be'ula. Why doesn't the get work for the Be'ula? On a derisive level, certainly it would. 
כיוון שבאילו הפקיעו לגמרי עשה זיקו. אה. If I understand this correctly, that since he gave a mimer to the Rishona, therefore, the Be'ila now is illegitimate because it's like he's being bonus Shnei Batim on a Drabona level. And therefore, the Zika remains, which requires Chalitz. Next scenario, mimer B'zu V'cholatz L'zu. So instead of the previous... Scenario where he started with Maimer and then he went over to Be'ila. Now he starts with Maimer and went over to Chalitza. Right? Chalitza to the Tzara of the Rishona. Fine. The second Yavama could marry anyone she wants. Why? Because she received Chalitza. But the Rishona, although she has a a chalos chalitza, meaning the chalitza to the shniya to the tzara is valid for her as well, but nevertheless she needs to get as well. So he'll, he'll give chalitza to the second tzara. That's the case. But the rishona needs a get to be mafkir the kinyan maima. Because chalitza cannot be mafkir the kinyan maima. Because mirabonan it teaches. She doesn't need chalitza because she becomes p'tur with the chalitza of Hatzara, which was a chalitza k'shera. Now the Mishnah is basically at this point concluded in explaining the asiyas maimar b'yavama achas and the various maizim that took place afterwards to the yavama shniya to the tzara. Now the Mishnah wants to analyze what happens in the case where he gave a get to the first Yavama, which Mirabana, that we recognize the validity of the get, and then all the different mycin that were done to the Yavama Shnir. Get Lazu, the get Lazu. So number one, after the get to the first Yavama, he gave a get to the second Yavama, the Tzara. Now, both of them are psulos liyibam because of the get, as we discussed. But a get cannot be mafkir the zikim and Torah, and therefore tzrichos heimenu chalitza. So we need one chalitza that will cover both of them. And all this makes sense according to Rabbi Gamliel, who says, ain't get liachar get. But according to Rachamim, who old yesh get liachar get, then when the second Yavama, the Tzara, receives a get, that get is valid, is recognized according to Racham, who hold Yesh get after get, to generate an Isa Bekrovas Hashniya. In other words, the Yavam can no longer marry, let's say, the Tzara's mother or, or sister or daughter and so forth and so on. That's called Krovas Grushaso. And that's only because the Rabbana recognized the get. And that generates a din of, of Grusha. And he's not allowed to marry the Krovos of his Grusha. Okay, now we're going back to the scenarios of get Lazer, but instead of get Lazu, it was get Lazu Baal So he was Boel, the Tzara of the first Yuvama. And on a derisive level, it was Kona or Kenyan Ishes Gemura through that Be'ila. However, the Chachamim prohibited that Be'ila following the Get. As we said before, because it looks like Shnei, Shnei Batin. So once the Rabbanan invalidated the, the Be'a, and it's no longer considered a Be'a Gemura, they will not tolerate continuing maintaining that relationship. And therefore, tzricha get. The shnir requires a get. The frishona already got a get. She received her get. Now, the get is going to be matir, the iser hsh to raisa, to allow her to, be, uh, to marry someone from the shuk. But in addition to the get, the chachamim are going to require a chalitza. Again, one chalitza for both, but we'll cover both of them to be mafkia zikas yibum and allow them to get married because the bia is a bia psula. 
and a Bia Psul does not have the capacity to be Mafkia the Zika Ligamra. And therefore, Mirabonan is not allowed to get married without Chalitza. Now we get to the third round of the Sinus Get Lazu, Umaymar Lazu. So the Tsara, the second Yevama got a Maimar. And again, now that Maimar is Kona, the Shniya Mirabonon. However, he cannot be Miyabim because he gave a get to the Rishona, and it looks like Shnei Bat. His Tricha get. Now, as a result of the Maimar to the Shniya, she needs a get to be Mafkir the Kenyan Maimar. And Vechalitza, both of them are Asuros, Linose Minatora, because neither the get nor the Maimar is going to be Mafkir the Zika Minatora, and therefore she needs, uh, they'll need one Chalitza for both of them. And finally, the last scenario in this set of Get Lazu is Chalatz Lazu. He gave Chalitza to the Sara to the second Yavama. And here we apply the principle of Ein Acher Chalitza Klum. Meaning that even though the Chalitza is a Chalitza Psula, because the first Yavama got a get, and therefore that precludes Yibum from the second one, but nevertheless, a Maimar or a Bia, which was done after Chalitza, is meaningless because the Zika was removed completely by virtue of the chalitza. And not only that, if you ask about Maimar being Kiddushi Torah, and therefore she should require it yet, the answer is no, because en Kiddushi Tosem B'chai Ve'lav, once is chalutza, then a marriage relationship after the chalutza is an Issa Doraisa of Kevin Shalom Bona. And we're going like Rabbi Akiva. Now the Mishnah concludes by clarifying the din of Meissen that were done after Maimar and Get, which are meaningful me, Takonis Chachamim. No, I'm sorry, we already did that already. Right, so we had... Um, Maisim after Maimer, Maisim after Get. Now we're going to talk about Maisim after Chalitza or after Bia. Chalatz, he starts with Chalitza. And then Chalatz Lishnia. So you might think that now the second Chalitza is meaningful. But we're going to apply the principle of Einacher Chalitza Klu. Because the first Chalitza was a full-fledged Havkaz Zika. Kil Chasa. Oh. Cholatz, the awesome Maimar, after the Chalitz of the first Yivomah, he gave Maimar to the second, Masan Get, or after the Chalitz, he gave a Get to the Shniya, or after the Chalitz, he gave a, he was Boel, the Yivomah Shniya. And again, the same kind of scenario with the same halachic principle will apply if instead of starting with Chalitz to the Rishona, he started with Be'ilo with the Rishona, which is a full fledged Yivom making her into a full-fledged Aishas Ish. Therefore, Ubal, if he subsequently, with regard to Yivam Mishnir, he was Boel. Oh, Boel, he also Maimer Mishnir. He did a Maimer Mishnir. Boel, he also get Lishnir. In all those, or, or he gave a Chalitza to Lishnir. Is in all these cases, Ein Acher Chalitza Klum, and Ein Acher Be'ila Klum. Meaning, after the Maisa Chalitza Berishona, the Zika was completely removed, and therefore the Chalitza the Shnia is not valid. It's not going to generate any Easter on her Krovos. And the Get, likewise, does not generate an Easter on the Krovos. And the Maimar after Chalitza is not Kona. Be'ila is not Kona. Not, nothing's Kona after Chalitza. And the same thing applies after Be'ila. If there was Be'ila Berishona, then a second Be'ila is not Kone, to the Shnir, Mimer is not Kone, and Chalitza doesn't generate any Surim. Okay. He writes here, Kevin Shekone Sarishona Be'ila, Otla Azika, the Af Mishum Kiddushay Torah Lo Kone Shere Osrola Belav, and Kishtos Chavilavin, that's Rabbi Kiva, 
גם הגט שניתן לשנייה, או חליצה שכל הצלחה בילה ראשונה, לא אוסר אולוב אס קרובו סל. כיוון שקונס הראשונה ובילוסו, בוטלה זיקו, and it's like a get that he gave to a woman off the street, or chalitza that he gave to a woman off the street, a zara. Now all the dinim that we formulated so far with regard to kinyonim that are effective in a yavama, all apply equally bain yavam echad, whether it was one yavam who did two maisim to two different yavamos, as we discussed a great length, ubain, or even in a case of shnei yavamim, with Yevama Achas. In other words, each one of these two Yevamim did a Misa, that same Yevama. So for example, after the Get or the Maimar of one Yevam, the Get is Chal, and if the second Yevam will now follow up with another Get, that's going to generate an Easter on the first Yevam and an Iser with regard to the Krovim, the Krovos of the Megarish. And the Maimar Shani is going to be Chal to generate an Iser on the Rishon. And the Osa Maimar on the Krovos Seha. And we'll need a Get for the Maimar. And so too, Chalitza is meaningful. Minator is valid. Latira Minazika, even after the Maisa of. The other Yavam, again, if the Rishon did a Maimar, that's going to generate a requirement of a Get Laman Moro. But after Be'il and Chalitz of one of the brothers, then there's no Chalos, there's no efficacy not, or validity not to a Get or to a Maimar that the other that the other Yavam will do to this Yavam. Now the Mishnah concludes to explain or to formulate all the different scenarios of a heta yavama l'shuk in one yavama, in two yavamos with one yavam, one yavama with two yavamim. So the Mishnah goes sort of like repeats to uh, reiterate, I would use that word, Clarify the din of a Yavama after Chalitza and Be'ila. And now the Mishnah is going to present a Machlokas between the Chachamim and Rabbi Nechemya, whether or not Be'ila is Mafkir the Zikal Gamre, like Chalitza. And the Mishnah is going to start with a case of one Yavam and one Yavama and explain their Machlokas. Cholas, he gave Chalitza to his Yavama, and then V'yachakach osa Maimar, onosan get o Baal. In all those cases, since he started with Chalitza, enachar Chalitza klu, none of those Maisim register. O, Baal, instead of starting with Chalitza, he started with Be'ila, and just like Chalitza removes the Zika and there's no other ma- Maisa afterwards, so too. Osa Maimar. I'm sorry, after Be'ila. Baal Yevimto. Osa Ba Maimar. Nosan Loge. It's again, Ein, or Chalitz Law, is Ein Acher Be'ila Klu. It's interesting, the Mishnah calls it Ein Achar Chalitza Klum, but it also refers to Ein Achar Bia Klum. And now, the Mishnah adds the following. Bein B'tchila, Bein B'emta, U Bein B'sop. It doesn't matter in what order, where the chalitza was done, where it was implemented. We'll get to Be'il in a minute. But as far as chalitza is concerned, it could be tchila. Right? There was no ghetto mimer before the chalitza. He started with chalitza. Or be'emtza, meaning after a get, 
like for example, he gave a get to his Yavama. Then he was collates the Yavama. And then he does a mimer to the Yavama. Or he gives a get to one Yavama and he gives Chalitza to the second Yavama. And then he does mimer to the Chalitza or Be'ilas, Be'ilas Aget. So that's called Emtza. Bein Besov, or if after Ghetto or Maimar he does Chalitza, either he does a Maimar in his Yavama and then he gives a Get and then he's Chalitza, or he gives a Get to one Yavama and then he does a Maimar to the Tzara, and then he gives Chalitza to one of them. In all those cases, If after the chalitza he does a maimar, there's no need for a get to be matter. Because the chalitza successfully, even though it's basof, removes the zika. Habi'ila, however, has a different din. If he hasn't done a maimar in his yavama before he does be'ila, he hasn't given her a get. Is then ein acharea klu. If he gives her a get afterwards, the get is not valid. And she get married without chalitza, without a get, by virtue of the fact that he started with be'ila. However, by emtza, here's where the din changes, and besov, if the be'ila was implemented by emtza after he gave a maima, before the be'ila, and he gave a get lachrel, or he gave a get lefanel, and he does a maimer lachrel after the bila. The chen, same Allah would apply if he does bila basof after he gave her a get, and also a maimer. Then we apply the principle of yesh acharel klu. This is the sheet of the chacham. We'll see Rabbi Nechemia later. A bia is not konal gamre. Such that now he could just give her a get and it's all over. She needs also chalitza. And now we're talking again about it uh, by a be'il a basov. He had started with a maimar and so forth. And so too, the bean is not konal gamre, such that she doesn't need a get and. I mean, I'm saying that if he gives her a get afterwards or a maimar afterwards, it won't be effective. So, for example, he has two Yavamas. He gives a get to one of them. He's Baal Hashniya. And then he goes ahead and gives a Maimer to the Rishona. Very uh, complicated case. He started with a get, and after doing Bila with the sorry, he went back to the one who gave the get to, and he gave her a Maimer. So the Rishona needs a get in addition to Chalitza. The Chalitza is necessary to Mafkir the Zikas Yibum. And, of course, the chalitza is to remove, I mean, say, the get is to remove the maimah. So let's say, for example, there were three of Amos. He gave a get to one of them. He was Baal, the second one. He did a maimah in the third one. So he becomes also in the krovos of the shlishes, and he also has to give a get to Mamoro, because he didn't begin with a be'ilu. And so, too, if he does a maimar with one of them, then he's Baal Sashni, and then he gives a get to the Shlishes. He's Nesar Bekrova Sashlishes because of Krovas Gruchasa. And we recognize and validate the Gerish to get all on a Rabbanan level. And also, if he gave a get to one of them, and he, he gave a maimar to another one of them, and then he was Baal Sashlishes, Lopaka Zika Sayyibim Bebila. And Srichos Chalitza. If he does a Maimar and a Get in the fourth Yevama, is that Maimar and that Get generates an Iser on the Krovosel and generates a requirement of a Get for the Maimar. However, on the Chemia Omer, there's no difference between Chalitza and Be'ila. Achas Be'ila ve'achas Chalitza, they're both Shavos. And just like Einach her Chalitza Klum, 
And again, we said it doesn't matter in what sequence where the chalitza came, whether it's batchila, bas of a soul. And that means that a mimer after the chalitza does not require a get. It's not valid. Again, whether or not the chalitza took place at the beginning, in the middle, or the end. The same din applies to bia, according to Rabbi Nechem. Bein b'tchila, bein b'emtza, u bein b'so. Whether it is that he was boil first and then he gave a get, or he did a mimer, or if he's boil b'emtza between the get and the mimer, or basof after he did the get or the mimer, then he was boil, ein achreo klum. He does not need chalitza in order to allow her to marry to the shuk. It was pakam imenu shem yavama. There's no zikas yibum at all because of the be'ilah. And she's muteres without chalitza. Again, we're saying that he was miyabi through be'ilah, so he needs to give her a get, but there's no need for chalitza. So let's take the case where there were two yavamos. He was boel, one of them. He did a mimer in the shnia. The mimer is not tofes. She doesn't need a get. And krovoselo nesro. So now, what is the machlokis? Let's focus in and zoom in on the machlokis between Chacham Rab Nechemi. The cases he started with a get. And afterwards, he followed through with a be'ilo. Or, alternatively, after Nesivus a get, he followed up with a maimah. What's the deal in this case? Does she require chalita in addition to the get? Do we view it as a bila psula? That's the chachamim shita. And that makes the Kenyan pagum. And it's not mafkir the zika completely, and therefore the Yavama needs chalitza together with the get to be matol inose, all min But according to Nechemya, there's no pagam in the Kenyan, and the zika is completely paka al yidei be'iloso, as if he had done the be'ilo from the start. And even though Sheyotzeis mi menu machmas shebia psulahi. Nevertheless, she doesn't need anything more than a get to be matter her to be to, to marry someone from the shuk. And so too, if he gives her a get, and then he was boil her. According to Chachamim, since that beila was a beila psula, therefore. Well, well, let's go over this last point in, in just a second. So let's go over that last point in the Machlokas between Rabbi Nechemi and the Chacham. The Yovam gave a get, and then he was Baal, and then he gave her Maimah. The question is, is that Maimah effective and recognized as a valid moment to require her a get. So does she need a get lemamora? According to Chachamim, since that beer was a beer psula, there's a pagama in the Kenyan, and it's not mafkia the zika legamri. It's not a total wipeout of under, undermining the zika. Therefore, the mimer will be kona and generates a requirement of a get. Whereas according to Rabbi Nechemia, the Kenyan Bia is not considered a Kenyan Pogum as a result of the get that he gave before him, and therefore the Maimar does not generate a requirement of get. Just like in the case of Bila Tchila, if he started with Bia, that's Mavkia the Zikil and Namre, so too, even if the Bila took place later, after the uh, mimer and so forth, or after the get, and then bila and then a mimer and so forth, 
if he had a bi'ila, the mimer does not require a get. So that Rabbi Nechemia denies this whole concept called a bia paguma, so to speak, a ginyan pagum, with regard to bi'ila. Now the Gemara is going to address the following question. Why did the Rabbani make a takana that get should be meaningful in the Yavoma? And it's going to prevent and block a mitzvah the rice of Yibam. Likewise, why did they make a takana to recognize Maimar, which will make it impossible for him to be in the midst of Yibam with the tzor? And they require to get in addition to Chalitza to be Matirha if he doesn't want to be Miyabim. So the Gemara starts by being Medayik from the Machlokis from Gamliel, the Chachom Adkan Lopligel, the Get Achar Get Umaymer Achar Maymer. I will get Echad Biyavama, right? If he does a Maisa Gerishin with the Yavama. Or Maimar Echad Biyavama, a Maisa Kedushin, then Mahani, it's valid to be Machshiv the Get as if it was Mafkir the Zika and to generate an Easter for Yibo. So we Machshiv also the Maimar as Kedushin to require a Get, even if he's not interested in being Miyabim. And it generates an Isa Yibam on the Tsaros. Again, this is all Drabonan on a derisal level. There's nothing in Yavama to be Mafkir the Zika, but Chalitza or Be'ila to make her into a full fledged Zich. Is my time of Omer Rabbonin get the Yavama Mahani? Why did the Rabbonin recognize the validity of a get which the Torah did not in the case of the Yavama? And it's Dokha and it generates an Isa on. To, to be miyabim after the get. And the more answer is, mishum de mahani bi alma, since a get is effective in general, not in the case beyond the confines of Yavama. Any woman who's an ashes ish, the get is meaningful to remove the ishus. The iamit lo mahani, and if we would say, that the get in the case of Yavama would not be effective and we would leave the din as it were on a derisal level, then there's a possible error. Amri, the spectators, will mistakenly conclude that get lo tzia v'chalitza lo tzia would be the get lo mahani, chalitza nami lo mahani. The action of giving a get, which is meaningful in general, in an ashes ish, and it's motzi her chalitza, is also a valid action in the case of yavama to remove the iser of yavama lashuk. And since get is not meaningful if it was given to yavama on a derisa level, right? And it's not going to be matter to get married to the Shuk, even though it's matir and Ashesi. So it means that the Easter of a Yavamala Shuk is even more Khamer than Ashesi. Because the same get, which is matir and Ashesi to get remarried, is not matir, is not meaningful and effective in a Yavama. So that means the Yavama is more Khamer. The Eno Niteres, the Maisa Echon. And they're going to come to the conclusion that you need two mice, both a get and a chalitza. Once they come to that conclusion, then they may make another toast in the opposite direction, that chalitza nami lo mahan. That chalitza alone is not sufficient. Right? You're telling me that on a derisal level, they don't recognize the get, and therefore they believe that she needs both a get and chalitza. Therefore, they're going to come to the conclusion that chalitza alone is not effective to be matter al You need two mice. 
the Asi, the Yavam is going to come to a terrible Michshol, Lemival Acher Chalitza. He's going to think that even after Chalitza can be Boela because he hasn't delivered it yet. And if all he's done is Chalitza, then she's not Muteris Shuk. He remains Muteris Lo. And he's going to violate the love of Asher Lo Yivna as base Achiv, Kevin Shlom Barashu Vener Rashoi Livnos. So if the Rabbana made a Takana to recognize the get that's given to Yavama to generate an Easter for her to have Yibu. And therefore, they'll never come to this situation of Yibu after Chalitza, because the Yibu itself is prohibited by virtue of the get. Mar goes on, my time of Omer Abonon, Maimar Biyavama Mahani. Why did they recognize Kesef or Shtar, which is not meaningful on a derisive level in the case of Yavama? Mishum to Mahani Biyalma. Again, the Kenyan Kesef and Shtar in general, not in the case of Yavama or Zika, is meaningful. It generates a Kenyan Kedushin. And Abonon wanted to equate the Yavama with other women. The Yamit Loman, if you're going to tell me, that Maimar of Kesef and or Shtar is not meaningful in the case of Yavama, which again is the Dorai Salacha, they can come to the following Mikshal, the following Tots. Amri, they'll think, Maimar, which means Kesef or Shtar L'Shem Kedusha, which is meaningful Liknos in general to generate issues. Ubiya L'Shem Kedusha is also effective to create a Kenyan in issues as far as Ishto Minatora is concerned. Umi the Maimar Lomahani is Bia Nami Lomahani. Since the Torah recognizes Bia like Kesav Ishtar, and if you're telling me, right, and it's effective in a regular case of Ashish Ish, and now you're going to tell me that in the case of Yavama, Maimar is not meaningful, then by virtue of the analogy and the equation between Maimar and Bia, meaning Kesef and Shtar and Bia, I'm going to assume that Bia is alone is not meaningful. The Asi Lemival Achar Bia. He's going to think, the onlooker, that Bia in and of itself is not enough to clinch the issues. He's going to need Kesef and Shtar as well. And now he's going to think, let's say the Yavam will think, that he's allowed to be Boel, one of the different wives of his late brother, meaning one of the Tsaras, even Achar Bia, because Bia itself is not enough to remove the Zika to clinch the the mitzvah of Yibum. You need also Kesvin Shtan. And then he's going to violate the Allah of of Beis Achiv is by its echru bona veinu bona shnei batim. So if there are bona made a takona that maimer is a kinyan kesef or shtar, and it'll be konin yevoma to generate an isa to be miyabi mitzara. So it'll never come to be boiled with tzara the yevoma. Now the Gemara wants to clarify the opinion of the Chachamim who disagree with Rabbi Nechemi at the end of our Mishnah. They held that a beer which is done after the giving of a shtar or after the maimer of the tsara, such a bia is psula, and she needs chalitza to be matter hot to be to the shuk. My time on Rabban and bia psula that was implemented after Nasina's get or after Maimar in the tsara is yesh achre klum. It's not kone legamre, and it's not mavato lezikas yibum to allow to get married. Married with just a get. Amri, so the Bnei Yeshiva gave the following answer that the reason for this takana to prevent the following mikshal is that they'll think that to be mata the Yavama to the Yavam, they want to be mata the Yavama even after she became a surah Allah. Right, because there are two variations or scenarios of Bia Psula. And in each one of those, there's a Chashash of a Michshal. Each one has its own respective Chashash of a Michshal. 
e via achergeti. If we're talking about the psul of via after it gets, I'm going to explain to you why. Zera, we're afraid. Again, why are we going to pass all the beer? We're going to afraid afraid of Mishum, which, but just let's get the case again. Beer, Acher get. So he gave a get. Normally be effective in an Asian's Eastern matter, Halinase. And then there was beer. Why did the Chachamim classify that beer as a beer psula according to the Chachamim? Mishum, there'll be matir, beer, acher chalitza. There'll be matir, beer, to Baal Yevimto after you already did chalitza, which is an Isra La. Why? They'll say that just like the Yavama became Muteris after the get. Is therefore even after Chalitza, she becomes Muteris Lishu. And therefore she still is Muteris to the Yavam. And they're going to violate the Israel Shelo Yivneh. And so too, the Bia Achar Maima, he, if we're talking about a Bia. Following a mimer, the gave the tsara mimer. You want to understand the gzera? It's gzera of bia acher mimer. Why? Mishum bia acher bia. Let's say he did a bia in the tsara of this yavama. They're going to come to the conclusion that if his beer is Kona the Yavama, even after he gave the Tsara a Kenyan Kesef Ushtar, which are valid for an Ashish Ish and meaningful and effective, and now she goes out with a get and all she needs is a get, then even after he was boiled the Tsara, they're going to think he's allowed to be boil another Yavama and they'll violate the Easter of Esbias. Base Achiv and Abone, Shnei Batim, they'll be Pogdea in the Easter of Ashes Ach Shalobamoko Mitzvah. And finally, my Taima Omra Bonon, Hai Chalitza Psula Enach Rea Klu. They didn't make a Takana that in Chalitza it won't be Mafkil and Gamrius Hazika, but rather a get alone without Chalitza would be sufficient. And Maimar, which generates a requirement of get. And just like they made such takon in Bila Psula, why don't they make such a parallel takon in Chalitza Psula? Amri, the Bnei Yeshiva, responded that in the case of Chalitza, there's no room for the Chashoshos, for which they made a Gzera that get and Maimar they would have made a that get and Maimer would be meaningful and effective after Chalitza. And we'll go through the two possible scenarios of Chalitza Psula. My ligs are, let's say, in the case of Chalitza Psula, what, what Zera and what Chashash are you worried about? Ligs are Chalitza or get? Are you worried about the case of a Chalitza that followed a get? That after the get that was given to her, thought Sarah, there was Chalitza. And now you're going to say, well, the mimer that comes afterwards should be meaningful and effective to require a get. And what would be the reason for the Gzera? Mishum, the onlooker, will come to the conclusion that if there's a power in Chalitza after get to be Mafkir the Zikal Gamre, then Lo Yoil Maimer Achreha. So 
v'roi sheafkia es zika seyivam. And so to chalitza v'yivam eshniya, achar chalitza, it has the cough to be mafkia the zika to be matir the tzara. Even though the tzarasa was already a participant in chalitza, mitokach yomru sheshtei yevamos trichos kol achas chalitza la tiroli noser. That both yevamos need each one of them a chalitza. No, no, no. That's not enough to warrant and justify exera. Because kol ki hani tachlots v'tezal. For that chashash, that he'll do that, and he'll give chalitza multiple times, we don't have to be worried. Tachlots v'tezal. There's no michshal over here. Even if he'll give chalitza again and again, that doesn't justify making a gzera. And if you want to make a gzera over chalitza hamaymar, that the chalitza should not be mafkir the zika legamre, and therefore afterwards a get would be meaningful, would be effective, would be recognized, and it would generate an isa on the krobos. And the reason for the gzera is mishum because they'll. Again, the spectator will derive conclusions that Kenyan beer equals Kenyan Kesav and they're going to say that just like Halitza's Mafkir, the Zikul and Gamri after Kenyan Kesav Ushtar, they'll be Matir also Halitza Habir, which is done in Yavoma and Eshes Ish Gemura. They'll be Matir Yavoma as if she was Knusa as an Eshes Ish. I'm sorry, not as if, but she is Knusa as an Asian. She shall be matter with Chalitza without a get. No, there's no justification for such a chashash. Or to Chalitza her Maimar. Are we going to say that the Chalitza that was done after Maimar, Milo boy, get Limamoro? Is it not true that the Chacham required a get for his Maimar? And they didn't say, that she should be muteris without a get, they required a get to be mafkir the Kenyan Maima, in addition to the chalitza, which is required on a derisal level. And therefore, also, likewise, in the case of chalitza achabia, they're not going to be matter her to, to, to allow her to get married. They'll say, Nami boy, get. She needs a get to be matter the Kenyan of Bia. When he had a beer with her before the chalitza. So there's no need for these gzeros. And that leads us to Daf Nun Aleph with its last two words on Daf Nun Amidbeis, Omar Rava. The Gemara now is going to try to explain the reasoning of Rabbi Gamliel. Ain't get liachar get, the ain maimar liachar maimar. So let me take this opportunity to wish everyone a chag someach. And a great shops. Thank you so much.